Have you ever wanted to know, with some level of accuracy, how many people are gathering in a space at any given point in time? This has become a very popular use case, uh, especially in sort of our post-COVID world where we don't want large, large numbers of people gathering anymore. Or if they are, we'd like to sort of have an estimate of the size of that gathering. There are so many different ways to accomplish this, whether it's uh, LiDAR sensors. Check out uh, an episode I did with Quantergy. I'll leave a link down uh, down below and up top. No, up top and down below to a great conversation we had all about uh, crowd sizing through LiDAR sensors. So that's one way. Another way is through uh, video analytics, like really specific sensor-based video analytics. Uh, but Genetech is about to release something new that I think is a really interesting middle ground between needing like really super accurate to the second size estimation versus having a general idea of crowd size. So in this episode, we're going to talk all about Genetech's new video analytics feature called crowd estimation. So let's dive in. For those of you familiar with the channel, welcome back. Um, but you may notice uh, this is going to be a little bit different because uh, I usually am operating out of my studio and I don't have large numbers of people gathering here at any given point in time because this is my, my home office. So I'm going to rely on a bit of PowerPoint that was uh, created by our marketing department and uh, some videos that uh, take you through a simulation of crowd estimation. Now, the analytic is running true to form in the simulated video. It's just the video is simulated. So we have people going through a scene and that video sort of loops, but at the same time, the analytic is running and it is counting and estimating the number of people in this, in this crowd. So without getting into like a lengthy explanation, I mean, I think the, the title of the video and the title of, or the name of the analytic is kind of self-explanatory. It is crowd estimation. And if you see on this slide that I have up here, hopefully if, I, if I've done everything right with my green screen, you see that uh, Genetech says crowd estimation will reliably estimate the number of people contained within a large multitude in the camera field of view. So basically, what they're saying here is if you've got a wide field of view, the analytic will be able to estimate the size of the crowd in that field of view. It, it, it's it's so self-explanatory. Like I feel foolish just continuing to, to beat this dead horse. And what's really neat about this particular analytic, uh, again, as you can see here, is you can have multiple counting zones in each individual field of view. So very similar to how you would set up motion uh, motion-based recording or, or uh, motion events in a camera. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about that, link up top, link down below. Uh, but you can go and say, all right, well, maybe we're in an airport and I've got the ticket encounter over here and I have a uh, bag check-in over here. Well, I want to know the estimated crowd in those individual areas without counting all of the people that would be maybe down, down the main aisle. You'll be able to do that with the crowd estimation analytic. You can also set up thresholds. So, and, and we'll simulate this uh, in, a, in a few minutes here, but basically what this means is you can say, if a crowd gets above a certain threshold, start doing different things. Maybe that's triggering a specific type of alarm, triggering a threat level. I uh, just did a video on threat levels, link up top, link down below. And what's really unique about this one particular analytic is you can set up the analyzing period. In other words, you can leverage a schedule to say, I really only care about crowd estimation during this time frame. So maybe there are going to be crowds at night. I don't really care about crowds at night. I really just care about my crowd estimation during the daytime periods or vice versa. So again, this is just sort of a repeat uh, of what we just said. What are the benefits of this particular analytic? Well, it'll allow you to quickly respond to uh, crowd, you know, crowds gathering in particular areas without you having to have an operator like physically looking at a camera and estimating the size of a crowd. It also 
makes your operation more efficient because you don't have to deploy all sorts of sensors and real-time counting analytics. Now, again, this is not for real-time. What you'll see here is the analytic works during its own interval. So it's going to do the estimation once a minute, once every five minutes, once every 10 minutes, depending on how you set it up. If you need up to the minute, up to the second crowd estimation, this product is not for you. But I would venture to guess that for 90% of the crowd estimation applications out there, this will work just fine. So in this slide uh, that again was provided by Genetech Marketing, you can see, you know, this is a screenshot of Config Tool, and we've taken one giant area inside of an airport check-in station, and we've said, all right, count the number of people in this, or estimate the number of people in this particular crowd, and it's coming up with a number of 310. Now, when I first looked at this, you know, I'm I'm a pretty skeptical guy. Uh, I carry my PSP which means you know i take these things incredibly seriously so i said you know what I, I look at this picture i'm like that number doesn't look right but sure enough and and i'll let you pause it here and and you could see for yourself it's actually pretty close i i don't remember the exact number but you know especially out at the edges it's obviously hard to tell just even by the human eye exactly how many people are out there but there are about 300 people in this space it's it's pretty impressive how accurate it can get now again if you need to know the exact number of people in a crowd you need a lidar sensor and again check out the video that i that i did on this with quantergy but if you just need a general understanding of the number of people in a particular crowd this is the thing and again multiple zones counting of people, estimation of crowds, you can customize the threshold at which the analytic runs, right? So I want it to run every five minutes, every 10 minutes, whatever. And you can customize the counting threshold. So again, I don't care about crowds less than 50 people. I only care if that number gets above 50. And finally, you can visualize this information in custom dashboards. I will show you a custom dashboard that was built by our marketing team that is actually really slick. So what are the requirements? What are the limitations? Right now, you need Security Center 5.10 and up to run this particular analytic. And it requires the Kiwi Vision plugin 4.6 and higher. You're gonna need a camera that can do at least 720p. It's gotta be a regular camera. So usually for people counting applications, you're gonna have a camera that's you know up top, facing down, looking at the tops of heads and shoulders, right? And we're gonna count these people as they come through a space. And that could be extremely accurate. Again, if you need to know the exact number of people in a given area at any point in time, we're doing occupancy management, right? If, if, 50 people enter this door and 25 people exit that door, then really the aggregate number of people in that area is five. If you need that, well, then you need people counting analytics, maybe LIDAR sensors, things of that nature, occupancy management plugin from Genetech, link down below to an episode I did on that. But for this analytic, and this is actually why this is really cool, just leverage your existing camera infrastructure. You don't need to install a special camera, special sensors or anything. So long as your requirement is in occupancy management, then this will work just fine with your existing cameras. We don't care what camera you pick either, except for a couple and you know which ones I'm talking about. Uh, but so long as they're NDAA compliant cameras, this analytic will work even on pan, tilt, and zoom cameras, which is quite impressive. Most analytics don't work on PTZs for a wide variety of reasons. The only other cameras that are NDAA compliant that don't work with this are thermal imaging cameras and 360s, uh, probably because the analytic would have a hard time seeing the sort of that predator <laughs> type view that a thermal imaging camera gives you. And a 360 degree camera is probably too much information, especially if it's a fisheye, it's a really wide shot, you've got a warped image, you know, it, the accuracy is probably really low, which is why it doesn't work with those types of cameras. So how does it work? So when licensed for crowd estimation, and you go to config tool, and you go to the video analytics tab, once you've selected a camera, you will see crowd estimation come up as an option. When you click on it, you'll be brought to a screen that looks, again, very familiar. This almost looks like how we would set up motion detection and you can see here we've got our main zone if you look up here where it says crowd estimation you can see we could add multiple areas every area that we add uh, we can mess with the how the analytic runs 
how often it's going to count, um, you know, and, and all the other various options that's here. So, and then you can also see what's really nice is what it's going to display in Security Desk. So we can show the regions, we could show the region names, we could show the crowd count, and we can show events all in Security Desk, or you can turn them off, or you could turn them, you know, one of them on. So, right, maybe I really only want to show what the region is for crowd detection, for example. So I, that would be the only one that I would leave on. And as you could see, you could do this for each individual zone. And here's that really nice dashboard that I was talking about earlier. So as you know, in Security Desk, you have the ability to build your own custom dashboards. And each individual operator can have their own individual dashboard. Here, our marketing department has gone and created a custom dashboard for crowd estimation. So this is obviously for an airport type setting, but if you're a convention center, if you're a stadium, if you're a transportation authority, a rail authority, um, you know, I don't know, a, a school campus, and you wanna get this sort of level of information in a way that's easy to digest and easy to absorb, then creating a custom dashboard might actually help your, your operation run more smoothly. So here, as you can see, we've got charts. So, and these charts are showing me like over the course of time, how many people were in a given space. Uh, events, so different events that occurred. And every time, so this is basically showing me every time my uh, crowd got above a certain threshold, I triggered an event to occur. So again, this is a way for operators to see like, over the course of time, how, uh, how crowds sort of gather. Again, more charting data, an actual view of the camera itself, and what your current occupancy estimate is, or what your current crowd estimate is. So in this particular case, there's roughly 216 people in whatever region that it is that we have selected here in this camera field of view. This is incredibly powerful information. It's all usable metadata. You you build the dashboard that is right for your organization. When we get into the simulated video, we'll build a dashboard sort of on the fly. And you'll see you can make this however you want it for your operation. So here we have a simulated video and, and I'm still running this in PowerPoint. This is not live. Somebody else has control of this right now. But I want to show you how easy this thing is to actually set up and deploy. So you can see we're in config tool. We're gonna to go to the area view, find the camera that we want to apply uh, crowd estimation to, click on our video analytics tab, click on people counting, and here we are. And of course, this is a simulated camera, so it's going to, um, it's gonna loop. Um, we've selected our particular region, which is that area shaded in green. And on the right-hand side, you can see we've, we've got our threshold. So, the threshold basically means, and I'm going to pause it here. This threshold over here means with it on, we are looking for the number of people above this count, right? So the minimum count for an event. When this area of people goes above a certain number, I'm going to trigger an event with this crowd estimation analytic. We'll hit play here again. So here the operator has changed it to 15. Now we're gonna jump over into our general settings and click on actions. What we've done is we've created a custom action that's gonna trigger an alarm when crowd detection is uh, triggered. So when crowd detected, the action is trigger an alarm. Which alarm? This crowded alarm that, that this operator has created. So now jumping into security desk, we can see we're looking at the camera. We don't have any of the overlays here at this point. The operator is going to create a dashboard. So we've got one already pre-saved. This is our crowd estimation dashboard. There's our crowd estimation uh, camera view. And here's just a couple of charts. Now, again, this is simulated video, so we should always have the same number of people coming through the scene. But you, you get the general idea here. As I get more data, I can chart this data over time and have it be really helpful for facilities, for security, for, for other stakeholders inside my organization. And here we're just showing how easy it is to continue to build out this dashboard to show you, you know, exactly how, how many people are in, a, are in a given area, for example. So here we're, we're putting a count on the, uh, on the dashboard. 
we're going to set our maximum at 60 and this will will determine how the uh, how the donut takes shape and now we're going to do some uh, some coloring here so we're going to go red if the crowd is above 15. so turn red if result is greater than 15 and turn green if less than three and we're going to refresh this once every 60 seconds or once every minute hit done and now our dashboard is complete so to kick it up a notch we're even going to simulate a trigger or an incident type inside of our mission control engine and this one's actually really cool because it's going to take that crowd estimation and use that as an event trigger to play a message across your intercoms check this out so we go into incident configuration and we've got the incident already sort of pre-configured future episode coming up all about mission control but if we go here and we look at the triggers we could see the trigger type is from crowded right so when that crowded trigger is um when the crowd estimation is triggered we're going to take certain actions and these are automated this is an automated action and what that sequence of events is play a message across my public address system change my incident type and forcibly acknowledge the alarm i'm not going to get into what all of that means and what all this stuff means future episode coming out on mission control are you interested in mission control leave me a comment down below and, and let me know but if we click on that public addressing uh, option you can see the message that will get played is this crowded message this is a pre-recorded message saying that the area is crowded please disperse across specific units so specific intercom so if you had a sip trunk brought into the system and you have you know phones everywhere or you have public ip addressable public address speakers um you know whatever sort of communications device you have you can have this message be pre-canned and play when the area gets too crowded so that's a quick overview of crowd estimation what i really like about this is it's sort of like it is what it is it's what you see is what you get you want to estimate crowds using your existing camera infrastructure and use that information to either chart out all the metadata uh, for analysis after the fact or, or while things are going on or trigger different event types to occur maybe even trigger threat levels based upon the the crowd size this is the thing that you're looking for. What do you think about this feature? Let me know, leave me a comment down below. Are you interested in getting a proof of concept uh, demo for this particular feature? Reach out to me, I'll hook you up with your regional point of contact for Genetech. Did you like this video? Give me a thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button with the bell notification turned on to receive notifications when I post more episodes like this. And we will see you on the next one.